Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode. I should say, if you missed the last episode, go back and check it out because it was a momentous event. We played the World Cup final. I am not going to spoil it, but obviously, if you have seen it, you'll know the result. If you haven't, go back and check it out. You don't want to miss that. That was a quite the episode. Today, though, um, there is a lot of questions that have been raised about what's to come next now because people are sat there thinking we've won the Champions League, we've won a Liga, we've won the World Cup. The question remains now, though, what comes next? And there are a few people who want me to leave Barcelona. There's quite a few people who want me to stay. Some people are just not bothered. Um, I, on the other hand, realised after the World Cup final that we haven't won a Premier League title. However, I also still want to try and break Messi's record. So I feel that the best case scenario for us to do right now is potentially to either go out on loan to the Premier League and try and win the Prem then return back to Barcelona to break Messi's record here and in La Liga hit 50 goals in a single season, which will be my highest goal tally for one year in terms of a league season that I've ever got. So that is why I want to try and do it, because it will break not only Messi's record, but my personal record as well. So I feel like at this current time, the best option is for us to go out on loan to the Premier League and then return after that, where hopefully we will have won the Premier League wherever we go on loan. And then come back here and break Messi's record. That could be the way we end this. Although I'm not entirely sure because at this current time, everything is up in air. So all I know for, for today's episode is that we are definitely going to be playing these two games here in the Super Copper against Atletico. Trying to win that. And then depending on what happens, I have asked to be loan listed. We'll see what kind of teams come in for us and then make our decision. So... We're going to jump ourselves into these games. I know you guys are probably wanting me to change my hairstyle and such, but I'm going to uh, wait on that just for the minute because I actually don't know what I want to change it to, to be fair. And we won the World Cup scoring a hat-trick in the process with that hairstyle and these boots. So I feel like it'd be unjust to turn it. So we're going to go out and jump into the game. Um, there was one thing I wanted to show you, though, and that was the team for this season at Barcelona. Should we remain here? Because there's been a couple of new signings. To Stegen has stayed. Of course, he had a contract which was expiring. He remains at the club now. So a really, really good goalkeeper. Thomas Munier is still here. We've still got about 18 right backs. So, you know. And do you know what was funny as well? We purchased another one. Danny Carvajal's come in. Um, the former Real Madrid man. I don't know if he's come from Real Madrid. But he's another right back. It's like we have just a right back. We just love them. Do you know what I mean? We just have to bring more and more in. Serge Aurier and Danny Carvajal both going to be fine. Wait a minute. I need to count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Thirteen right backs. I swear that's more than we had before. I swear we had eleven when we first joined. How have we got thirteen now? That is madness. In terms of centre backs, only three. <laughs> Mustafi, Titi and Jonathan Tarr, but it worked last season. Cucurella, the only left back at the club. Uh, midfielders, obviously Busquets is decreasing a lot now. They probably need to bring another one in. Sergi Sampas on loan, out on loan even. Um, Artur still here. Denis Suarez, Leon Goretzka still here. Elena as well. Ricky uh, Pioig, or however you say it. Paulinho decreasing a lot. Rakitic decreasing a lot. Messi still here. We never even got to see him play. He's played in the preseason tour, but frustratingly, I wasn't here, obviously, because we were playing in the World Cup. So we uh, we were given the time off after coming back from that. So we didn't feature in the preseason tour. Sterling, Malcolm, Dembele, myself, Albert Ruiz, Mark Cardona, Coutinho, and that ends off the Barca side. So that is the team we've got this season. 13 right backs. I'm not sure if we'll be here, like I said. We'll see what this loan thing comes into it. And if you guys want me to go out loan, obviously, you will have the decision whether or not we stay or not. I think that's the best case. I don't want to like leave the club entirely because I still want to break Messi's record. But at the same time, I also want to win a Premier League title because we haven't done that yet. And I feel like we've got to do that. We have to win the Premier League. It'd be ridiculous for us not to. So let's jump into our first leg against Atletico and see how this one goes. And then obviously the second leg will follow and then hopefully we'll have an offer. We are underway then in this first leg of this Super Copper. We've got uh, an interesting side. Midfield is Denis Suarez, Goretzka and Artur. So no Busquets today. Not surprising as he is decreasing. But back to club football. Not the two up the top that we're used to playing with England. And this time we're going to have the wingers of Coutinho and Malcolm in the side today. So we'll see if they can make the difference. And also for myself as well, it's back to club football. Our first game since scoring a hat-trick for England in a World Cup final. All right, half-time, nil-nil. And we played pretty poorly as a team. It's that final pass we're not quite hitting. We've had two chances so far. I don't really remember them at all, to be fair. But we just need to get that final pass. If we can use it effectively, we'll be able to get in. As I say, this Atletico are going to go... Oh, my... How have they missed that? 
Soul with just, I don't know how he's missed. That should have been Atletico 1 0 up. That's Barmy. That's absolutely insane. How has he not scored? Soul with all the goal to aim at. And he just kind of, I don't know what he did. It looked like he tried to take a touch instead of just hitting it first time. Tell you what, they're not going to get much of a better chance than that in this game. And they had to have taken that. Come on, boys. We need to react to that. Well, that was poor from us defensively. Can we get going forward? Goretzka. Leon Goretzka looking for the over-the-top ball. Coutinho never went, so I had to challenge for it. And I think that's come off us as well. Yes, it has. Goal kick. Nice ball. Gelson Martins looking for the cross inside. It's cleared away, but it's going to come back at us. Saul trying to get in there and make the tackle. I made it. And in the process, took him out. Nothing given by the referee. They still got the ball, though. Griezmann's cross. Blocked. It's flicked on, and now we can break. Come on, boys. This is where we need to use this ball. Why is Malcolm not really giving me a run? Look at that from Malcolm. He stayed so central, but now we can find... He's gone back. Did the hard work. Malcolm, send it through. Come on, boys. This has to be finished. Come on. Get in the back of the net. We overplayed that massively. And we've gotten away with it in the end. It's our 150th goal of our career by the looks of it. On the top right-hand side, the achievement popped up if you saw it. But we massively overplayed this. You know, Mar uh, Malcolm, all he had to do was run through. Instead, he tried to play about four passes too much. It's a good finish in the end, though. You have to give us credit for that. And that is the confidence that we've got since coming back from that World Cup final. It's a good finish. Our black can't get near it. And eventually, we found our first chance and we've taken it. That's our first shot of the game for myself as well. Clinical. Gelson Martins inside. The crossing again. Munier heads it away. It's not fully away, though, as it's sent back in towards Simeone. Simeone to Saul. Oh, blocked by his own man. And it's bounced for a goal kick. The Stegen was rooted there, if you saw that. So if that had been on target, that could have been 1-1. Diego Costa's on for Giovanni Simeone. I'm not really happy with that, because you guys know me and Costa. My, uh, my love-hate relationship with Diego Costa. In terms of when he was in the Premier League, he used to always score against Arsenal. But in the game, he usually plays quite bad against me. So, so, so one way or the other, we'll see how he's going to play today. 13 minutes to go, though, in this first leg. And so far, so good. What a ball through, and it's towards a substitute, Costa. Oh, what's he doing? I don't know why he crossed it. I genuinely thought Costa was going to run through and score. He found a good ball, though. Lamar got his shot on target, but it's easy for to stay good. Dembele's come on for Malcolm for us as well. Clear that weight. Never mind. Griezmann decides to, he just wants to send one in, but it's not quite there. And uh, I've just realised as well, the last time we saw Leon Goretzka, we were playing against him in the World Cup, and we knocked them out. Goes for quite a few of our teammates, actually, as well, so... Yeah, nice to see you all again <laughs> on our route to winning the World Cup. Three minutes left of the 90. Griezmann on the left-hand side puts the cross in. And that's an important interception. Not quite sure who won that header, but it was vital they did. As here we go, looking for a breakaway. Ball sent down the line. Can we win it? It starts against Ben Me, I think. And Me takes a poor touch. And we've got a throw in here. Coutinho, little one-two with him. Back inside we go. Trying to just keep hold of the ball. Ref, that's a free kick. Not even advantage played, apparently. That should take us over the, uh, the full time, though. But that's it for leg one. Grealish, in fact, hang on a second. Because Grealish has just picked out an unbelievable pass to Griezmann. Who puts the cross in and Cucurella will clear away. And that should be it. Ref. Ref. Good save from Tostegan. But referee, you had your opportunity to blow your whistle. We cleared it. We cleared our lines. Blow your whistle there. Now I've got a corner to defend. And defend it, we somewhat did. Cucurella, clear it away, people. Don't mess around there. There we go. Now blow your whistle, ref. All right, leg one has been done. Um, it was a 1-0 win, even if it was for the late sort of chances, flurry of chances in the end for Atletico. But that takes us into advantage Barcelona. We go over to their ground now for the second leg. Well, every time we hand in the loan request, it's going to get declined until eventually Valverde accepts the request. Now, obviously, that is up in air and you guys will decide it regardless. So we'll just keep putting it in until eventually Valverde decides that he is going to allow us to go out on loan. Valencia hoping to sign Zaha. Zaha's currently playing at Inter Milan, which is quite surprising. I'm not so. I wouldn't mind Zaha in my Inter Milan save. He's a pretty decent player, no lie. Right, so it keeps getting turned down the request, but we're about to jump into the second leg up against Atletico for the Super Copa. And one of these teams will come out with the, uh, the trophy today. But who is that going to be? Us or them? We're 1 0 up after the first leg, but this time we are away at their ground for the second leg. And we scored the only goal in the last game. So let's see if we can do it again here in this one. 10 minutes. I need to remember to change that. We had it at 10 minutes for the World Cup final. So I need to remember to change it back to four in the home menu when I get a second. So let's jump into this though regardless and see if we can get our hands on the first trophy of the season. 
And there is the trophy on offer for one of these two sides. Did we win it when we were here last time? I can't even remember. But players to watch have gone to Coutinho and Griezmann, the two number sevens. So it's a tale of the sevens, we could call it, for this part. Obviously, first leg, 1-0 up. We are in the pole position. I want to check out the teams real quick, though, before we start. And this is the Atletico lineup. All Black, Cancelo, Ben Mee, Stefan Livray, and Johnny as the back four. Hey up, Johnny. Martins, Rodri, Saul, Lamar in the midfield. Simeone and Griezmann as the two up top. So no place again for Costa. It's gone to Simeone. Here is Malcolm. Six minutes in, and we are looking pretty composed already on the ball as well. Goretzka finds a nice pass in towards us. Got a chance to take it on Ben Mee. Ben Mee allows me way too much time. Me allowing me. Interesting. But we shot and All Black saved it. I tried to beat him with a little skill. Did you see it on the, the area? Except he didn't fall for it. So I had to kind of just take the shot on regardless. 1-2 with Malcolm. Lovely stuff as we send it to a right back. Puts the cross in. We scored from a header for England. Oh, Malcolm. That nearly was sensational. All Black had to react very quickly. Because Malcolm just pulled one out right out the top drawer. Look at this. First time left-footed volley that was going in the top corner. And All Black does All Black things to keep it out. Wow, 12 minutes in and this game's already come alive. Barcelona on the front foot, though, after the first little bit. Can we get a cross in now, though? Tried to do it. It's going to be blocked. Right-footed cross this time. There it is. Saul, importantly, intercepts for his side. Coutinho nearly getting there as well. And uh, after 14 minutes, we have started off this game on fire. Oh, what a ball. What a lovely ball through from Munier. And he's going to find us. And we've made it 1-0, Barca. It is that simple when we are here. What a finish as well. Clinical isn't even the word. One shot last game. Went in the back of the net. One shot this game. Bottom corner. That's what you want. That's why. That is why I'm sure Barcelona will not let us go out on loan easily. It's going to take us having to ask a lot for us to actually make that happen. Um, I still want to break Messi's record, so even if we aren't allowed to go out this season, worst case scenario is I try and get out the club next year after we've broken it, which is going to be hopefully this season, provided we don't pick up an injury and we actually have a good year. So, um, so yeah, but I still want to win a Premier League as well. So if Barcelona at the minute want to keep us, you can understand why. We are just so clinical. Now we've got a chance to go forward again. Goretzka towards Malcolm. Malcolm sends it through. Chance for two. All Black saves Denny Suarez's effort. But Atletico at the back are all over the place after conceding the first of the game. Oh, look at the space. Look at the space. Ben Mee. He's, he's having a nightmare here because he's got two players to contend with. There's the ball through. Finish it. 2-0 Barcelona. And it is Malcolm who gets our second. 3-0 on aggregate. We were selfless with that play. Laid it across towards Malcolm who could not miss from there. But it honestly was up to Atletico. They lost it on the edge of our penalty area. And at that point, Ben Mee was stretched because he had two options. Close down the ball or go with the runner that was Malcolm, which then gave me so much space in order for Coutinho to find us. It's so unfortunate for Ben Mee. But for us, it's joy because we are 2-0 up, 3-0 on aggregate and are surely heading to a Super Copper win. Second half is underway and we've picked up where we left off. We're in complete control. On the edge of Atletico's penalty area. What was that? Oh, what a finish! You guys know my right foot is so inconsistent. I hate playing with the right foot, but sometimes it has to be done. What on earth were Atletico doing there? Oh, dear me. I think it's Johnny with a mistake. Here's Johnny, and uh, he's made the mistake. 51 minutes in. Barca, this is it. We're surely going to win now. I mean, he tried to play it across his own box, which you're taught not to do. And he's played the prize for it now as well. But you can take nothing away from our finish. You guys know my right foot is basically like spaghetti. I just can't use it. We've got like a two-star weak foot. But that is unbelievable, that finish. Uh-oh, chance. Goal, Cancelo pulls one back for Atletico Madrid. 55 minutes in. I mean, is it going to be enough? I've got a feeling that's only been a consolation. But you can say nothing about the finish. Look at this. Shot came in, blocked by Goretzka, headed down, and that is just an unbelievable finish from Jao Cancelo. He's a fullback and he's done that. What a goal from Cancelo. To Stegen, I can't even have a go at him because he just can't save those. 4 1. Atletico back in this, but it's going to be too little too late, surely. Hot ball through for Sterling. Go on, Raheem. Have a go. One on one. Try and beat him. Sterling puts the delivery straight back in. 
I don't know why I went for an overhead kick. It should have just been a header, but, you know, when you are three one up, you get to try things like that. Suarez, Artur, Suarez again back towards them. These two are going to play a bit of uh, you have it. No, you have it. Oh, that is absolutely sensational. That is just brilliant. Barca 4, Atletico 1, 5-1 on aggregate. I'll just hold my hands up and say right now, that is an unbelievable move. There you go. There's the game of you have it, no you. And then it gets played in towards us. 1-2 with Koretska. And that is just a sensational finish. I tell you what, playing like that, the, I don't know how on earth we didn't get to a Champions League final. We really did royally mess it up when we did it last season. On another level did we royally mess that up. But you've got to admit as well, um, I would have every day gladly been knocked out of the Champions League if it meant us winning a World Cup like it has done. So I suppose you've got to take them as they come. But we are three minutes away from winning the Super Copa here. And my goodness me, that last goal was sensational team play. Oh, ball through for Sterling. For four. <laughs> Save by All Black. I was going to say for five, which he would have been, but it would have been six on aggregate because we are at five already. Denny Suarez plays the ball in towards us. They're stepping off, allowing a bit too much time and space and just tried to hit it. See what was going to happen. All Black makes the save. Corner ball to end this one off before we will get to lift the trophy in the air and uh, win our first piece of silverware of the season. Near post header. One of the only ones I've ever won in the series and it just didn't fall in. Sad. But there is the full-time whistle. First piece of silverware is coming Barcelona's way. We can enjoy this. Whether or not we're going to be out on loan this season or whether or not we're going to be here trying to break Messi's record, time will tell. But it's our first silverware win of the season. Get in. I'm Titi getting ready to come up to the plate and lot heist the uh, trophy up. But there is us obviously buzzing with this. It is our second major win in probably the last two months with the World Cup added to that. Nothing's ever going to top that World Cup, though. Nothing will ever top that. Umtiti about to lift it in the air. And there it is, guys. Barcelona Super Copa winners in 2022-2023. Like I said, time will tell where we are this season playing our football. If we are to leave, it will definitely be on loan, as I definitely want to come back and break Messi's record if we are going to leave the club. But we will see what's to come. You guys will uh, be knowing more in just a few moments. For me, it might be quite a long time. We'll see. Obviously... Just enjoy this moment, head into the next bit. Day 462 and still no loan request accepted. Will this be the one, Ernest? Just just let me have a go on loan. I just, just want to see what teams come in for us, honestly. What are you saying, Ernest? Are you going to turn this one down too and we're going to have to play against Leganes? Oh, wait. He's at, wait, 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 wait. He's added us to the loan list. So... Here's the plan. We're going to play the game against the Garners. And if we get off to like a hat-trick start to the league, um, then we might make our decision because I don't want to miss a game in case no loan deals come in. So I'm not going to sim this. I'm going to play it because, like I said, we might score a hat-trick here and we then could use those goals to try and take us up in terms of us trying... I need to change the minutes if I keep forgetting to do it. In terms of trying to take us closer to Messi's record. But the other side of this is after this game, we might have an offer from somewhere to go on loan. So we'll see what's going to happen in a few moments' time. Um, where is this? Four minutes. There we go. Let's bump it back down. Right then. We're going to take on Lagares. Trying to defend our Liga Championship. But also get off to the best possible start with a few goals as well. No disrespect to them. But I feel like a hat-trick's in, uh, in the bag here for us. If we play our cards right, Busquets in the side again. Busquets lays the ball inside. Turned away from our man as well and sent through our teammate Raheem Sterling. Can he get the cut back? He can towards Goretzka. Why has Goretzka played it towards me? I don't know. We got the shot away anyway. Why did Goretzka not shoot? Oh, Goretzka. I know you want to set me up and everything, and it was gladly appreciated, but I was not expecting to get the ball so much so I couldn't actually get the shot away properly because it was kind of just caught underneath my feet. A little ball inside. Let's see if we can get going again. Goretzka towards his teammate. Oh, what a pass. I think that was Busquets with that ball. What a ball. I should have scored. It's going to bounce back. We are going to score. Our turn will finish the move off. Was it Busquets with that pass? What a ball. Artur's the one giving the goal because it is his goal. But that ball through was brilliant. And at that point, I have to finish it. I mean, it was close. The keeper got his, uh, his legs to the ball, which is why it stayed out. But Artur's there just to tap it home. If that was Busquets, what a ball. Even though he is 34 and decreasing, he's still got it. Cannon's ball, which we ran the channels. So we've got a bit of space here to try and use this. 39 minutes on the clock. Cut it back on the left foot and put the cross in. There is a delivery. Goreski gets the head as well. It's an assist for us. That was hit with real venom, that cross. And all Goreska had to do was try and direct it. The power was on the ball. 
And my goodness, what a good header from Goretzka. I swear we assisted him last game against Atletico as well. So that's two assists in two games for Leon Goretzka uh, from us. And that header, like I said, was good because it came with such venom, that cross. He just had to try and direct it. Two and up inside this one. And up until this point, Lagana's have been okay. But I tell you what, that should now knock the wind out of their sails. I don't think they're going to be able to come back. Which hopefully in turn will make us be able to score a goal ourselves. Because we're yet to get on the score sheet today. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, no. As if that's going to be the last thing of this first half. Is he offside? Okay, well, I mean, he's offside. But even so, the finish was, was, was really, really bad. So that's going to take us into half time at 2-0. We're still searching for our goal, but I'm not too worried. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a goal! The Garners have scored. And it's actually a really nicely worked goal. I said it would have knocked the wind out of their sails. I'm wrong. You know what? Fair play. They were back in the game. They only need one more goal now to equalise this up. Although I don't expect them to get it. Because, yeah, if we lose the game from this point then I definitely am leaving the club because we cannot possibly throw away a game like this. You'd like to think anyway. Nevertheless, fair play to Lagan as they pull one back and it's 2-1 with 30 minutes to go. Don't even do it. Five minutes left. Gordinho, the goal scorer, puts the cross in. No, 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 no. To Stegen saves it. Oh, that was a moment that they were going to get. That is pretty much... The best chance they've had since going into the game 2-1. We got away with one there. We definitely got away with one there. If the header was better, that was 2-2. 100% that was 2-2. Then Bele. And this is what I'm talking about. We've been a bit more defensive-minded since going into the game in the second half. And when they scored, we've just kind of switched to a defensive-minded stance rather than going forward like we usually would. And it's not great to see because Laganas are posing threats. So if Laganas are, imagine what some of the other sides are going to do. Cannon forced to put that into Rosed. 20 seconds left of the 90. And there's a throw in here for our opponents in a really good area. Are they going to use the ball effectively, though, is the question. Full-time whistle goes, although there was a throw in again for Leganes. But you know what? No complaints from me. 2-1 win. We didn't get on the score sheet. We did assist one, though. And our assist proved to be pivotal because that was the winning goal from the game. All right. So we are loan listed. It's about waiting to see who wants to take us on loan. Who's going to actually come in? I'm hoping we're going to get some good offers from teams like in the Premier League. Um, honestly, I don't know who will come in for us, if anybody, but we're about to find out. We didn't score in that game. I want to try and get an offer before we go. Otherwise, this is going to prove to be not the greatest. We finally get an offer. Who is it from? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty funny, right? Because you guys know... Being an Arsenal fan, it'd be quite funny to go there and play and try and win the Premier League. Like I said, we've got to try and go back to the Prem and try and win it. But I also want to try and break Messi's record. But I feel that we haven't scored in that first game. Should we jump ship, go to the Premier League for the season and try and win the Prem? The problem here is I don't know if Arsenal are in any competition of, inter of continental side of things. They're not in the Champions League. They are in the Europa League. We had a shot at the Europa League, didn't we? When we played with Porto, nearly winning it. It would be great to win it as well. They've got a decent team. Joshua Kimmich there. Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. Um, and left-backs, they lack a left-back though. That's the only problem. Virgil van Dijk is at Arsenal. Callum Chambers still there. They've got Clement Lengle. Um, yeah, a couple of really good centre-backs. Schopf on the right. Ramsey still there. Awobi, Granit Xhaka, Matic Gonduzi, Mkhitaryan. How good is Mkhitaryan? Yeah, he's pretty bad now. Pablo Fonaz, so he'd be assisting us. Reese Nelson there too as well still. You know what? I think that's a good offer to end with. And it's over to you guys to decide. They've obviously got a goalkeeper as well in Bern Leno. You know what? I'd be quite happy to go there and try and win the Premier League with this Arsenal team. It's over to you guys though to decide it. Should we or should we not go out on loan to Arsenal to the Premier League to try and win it? as we are yet to win a Premier League title in our career. Over to you guys inside. Top right-hand side of this video will be the poll. Make sure you do cast your vote on it. Um, 
If you don't, unfortunately, it will not be counted after I already go or stay because that is how it goes. So obviously by the time I've recorded it, if you leave your vote after I've recorded it, unfortunately it will not be counted. So make sure you voted as soon as possible, guys. Over to you to decide, no matter what happens at the end of the season, if we go to Arsenal, we will be a Barcelona player because it's only on loan for the season. Similarly, if we stay, our job here is to break Messi's record before trying to go and win the Premier League. That is how I think we're going to do this. So over to you guys to decide on loan to Arsenal, yes or no. Thank you all for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. Check out the earlier videos of the day as well, the two that went up just before this, the um, Project Revive, and then the Road to Glory career mode. So check those out in the description below. Until next time, guys, catch you all again soon. Adios.